Hello, and welcome to Susquehanna Express. Today, I have Reverend Skip Spangler here to tell us a little bit about his outreach with this church into the community. His church is the York Otterbein United Methodist Church. Thank you for coming. Thanks. Can you tell us a little bit about how the breakfast got started that you have? Breakfast began in 2001 as an outreach of the church to the YMCA men's residence, which is located right across the street from York Otterbein Church. Okay. And you just, uh, did the people supply, the people of your church supply the food for that? Yes. Um, people of the church have always supplied the food. Okay. Um, in the beginning, various Sunday school classes and groups in the church served breakfast from month to month. And then over time, a, a core of people began to serve the breakfast each month. Um, a lot of the food is supplied in partnership with the York County Food Bank. About how many people show up for these breakfasts that you hold once a month? Typically 75 to 100. Um, on a clothing giveaway day, which is twice a year, we will serve typically 175 people. Yesterday, we served 146 people on a non-clothing giveaway day, which was a record. Wow. So do you think there was more advertisement for it, or how do you think? We don't advertise. No? Okay. Um, what we know is that on the third Saturday of the month, whatever date that is, people will line up at the door of the church at 8 o'clock. Um, they even did it with a blizzard bearing down on us one December. Um, and we opened the doors about 8.30, um, and we keep them open until the people or the food runs out. What are some of the other outreaches that you have with your church? The clothing giveaway that I mentioned, um, which we hold twice a year. And then each week, four different AA groups are using our facility Probably about six to seven hundred people every week are through our facility through the four AA, AA groups. Wow. In addition to that, Grace Place, which is a Sunday service, um, 915, a hospitality based service um, with media, with praise and worship, with a message, and a little feature we call community time. Okay, and how do you connect the people that come to the breakfast to the Grace Place Sunday service? We invite them. Um, they know to, to be there um, through word of mouth, mostly, um, through invitation at the breakfast. Um, if they come to the, to the Saturday brunch at 8.30, um, they're in a good place to come at 9.15 to, uh, to Grace Place Sunday morning. Hmm. Okay. Um, so do you have time then to actually have some of your members go out and talk to the people that come to the breakfast then and get to know them a little bit? Yeah, we do. That's really a, a big piece of the breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that's really true about the breakfast is over the years that we've done this, there is a community that's formed. Um, we see people month to month. Um, we get to know them. We get to talk to them. Um, over time, um, they begin to ask about the church. They begin to ask about Sunday services and Grace Place. Um, they may hear from other from their friends about the service. Um, the breakfast really is a way for us to build trust, mm. um, build trust with people um, who have lost trust in in church, um, in 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 community. Mm -hmm. um, and as we build that trust, we find them coming to Grace Place, and and being part of a, a worship experience that is truly unique. It does seem like your church is really focused on, um, there's a verse in Acts that I was reading recently that talks about how we are supposed to share and live in a community. And it seems like your church has really uh, taken that to heart. And it would be wonderful if other churches could get involved and be part of the mission outreach to York as well. We are seeking partners. Um, one of the things that we talk about a lot at the church is, is this phrase, we all have a gift to give. Um, we build a lot around that phrase. Um, we believe everybody that comes to the breakfast has a gift to give. Um, just yesterday, we, we had uh, the Valley View Alliance Church with us to help us serve 146 people. Um, 15 youth were with us on Saturday. And, and um, um, in the middle of this breakfast, I noticed two of the youth embracing David, a homeless Christian, and they were praying. And um, only later did I find out that the youth weren't praying for David. David was praying for them. Aww. So we have seen this truth that everyone has a gift to give um, 
many, many, many ways, and we want to make it possible for other churches to come and, and share the gifts they have um, with the folks that come to the breakfast. Um, we know that when those gifts are given, when those gifts are received, we are formed into the body of Christ. And um, one of the ways churches can do that is to email us, www.yorkotterbein.net, and um, um, let us know they'd like to partner or, or call the church office, 854-0851. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing about how your church has been the hands and feet of Jesus. And if you would like to learn more about how you can get in touch with his church and become part of this ministry, make sure that you check my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.